solve the equation. 1 over x minus 4 over 3x is equal to 1 over x minus 2. Here we have a rational equation. I'm going to start by identifying values for x that cause this equation to be undefined. These are values of x that cause uh, any denominator to be 0. An x value of 0 would cause both of these denominators to be 0. And an x value of 2 would cause this denominator to be 0. So I'm going to start by identifying the fact that x cannot equal 0 or 2. Now, let's solve the equation. Let's begin by multiplying everything on both sides through by a lowest common denominator. Our lowest common denominator will contain an x, the number 3, and x minus 2. So multiplying by 3 times x times x minus 2, and you can think of that as um, over 1, a value in the numerator. Taking that times 1 over x, the x's cancel, leaving 3 times x minus 2, minus sign next. Multiplying times our next term, the 3x will cancel, leaving 4 times the quantity x minus 2. That's equal to, on the right-hand side, multiplying the x minus 2's cancel, leaving us with 1 times 3x, or 3x. Now let's solve this uh, linear equation. Distributing, we have 3x minus 6 minus 4x plus 8 is equal to 3x. Notice here we have a 3x on both sides. So subtracting 3x from both sides causes those terms to disappear, fall out. Let's write this next step as negative 4x is equal to Negative 6 plus 8 is 2. Let's subtract 2 from both sides. So that becomes a minus 2 on the right. Last step, divide both sides by negative 4. So x is equal to a negative 2 over a negative 4 or a positive 1 half. Now notice that 1 half does not cause a 0 denominator. Remember our previous restriction that x can't be 0, x can't be 2. So as long as we've done our algebra correctly, this is the correct solution. But let's go ahead and check it anyway. So let's check x equal 1 half in the original equation. So 1 over x, or 1 over 1 half, minus 4 over 3 times x, or 3 times 1 half. Is that going to be equal to 1 over x minus 2, or that's a 1 half minus 2. Let's clean things up. Now, 1 divided by 1 half is actually 1 times 2 over 1. That's 2. With our second term, in the denominator we have 3 halves, and 4 divided by 3 halves is 4 times 2 thirds. On the right-hand side, let's think of that 2 as 4 halves. So we have a 1 over 1 half minus 4 halves is a negative 3 halves. Back to the left. Almost done here. That's a 2 minus 8 thirds. Is that equal to 1 divided by negative 3 halves multiplied by the reciprocal of that denominator getting a negative 2 thirds. So is 6 thirds minus 8 thirds equal to a negative two-thirds? It sure is. That's a true statement. So x equal one-half is correct. That is the solution. So let's describe this by saying the solution set is one-half.